back to another video and today we're continuing Outlast. Last time we went off, um, we ran into this nigga Kraber. Uh Krager, you know, crazy old dude. He had a he was really funny though at the same time, but he was an asshole, pretty much. Sorry for cousin. He was a bad guy. Um he was really evil. Um who else? Who else? Yeah, we outran the two naked guys we saw in episode two. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah, and we killed Kraber. And Mike, the main character we're playing as, who doesn't talk at all and just has a. <laughs> like, reactions. Um, yeah, he's going crazy. Because, yeah, we lost our fingers. We're probably disheveled. And yeah, that's. Where we're picking up. Oh, yeah, and we have to follow, follow Father Martin. I think Father Martin might be a good guy because, I don't know, because he was being really nice, but at the same time, that nigga did turn off the lights. Yeah, this is not where we ended up, but yeah. He turned off the lights and hit us in the back of the head, but at the same time. Oh wait, it wasn't Father Martin who turned off the lights, it was Kraber. Oh, that's who turned off the lights in episode one. Dude, I'm so stupid, I could have sworn that was... Um, what's his face? Oh, dude. Dang, what's his face? Dang, what's this nigga's name? Dang. I forgot this nigga's name. Dang. Kraber. I don't know. That's who turned off the lights. Okay. Meet me outside. We're close Alright. Hold on, first things first. Yup. Last episode I did not. Oh my god, that scared me. I and what? There was another dark document in last episode. We were it was talking about some like a guy was really mad that he was being disrespected by everyone. And um, here he's like talking about, oh, I'm gonna resign. And the document, it's, it's something about delusions. This nigga Traeger, Tra Traeger, his name's Traeger. Uh, Traeger, this nigga Traeger, he literally admits him as a patient till the time of his death so he can be tortured. Which is some crazy crap. I would, if I was any of these niggas, I would just keep my mouth shut. I would just keep my mouth shut. I, cause. If I get admitted to this hospital, I'd rather kill myself, straight up. Anyways. Dang. We're loading up on batteries. Oh, something gonna happen. No game just gives you all this good stuff. No reason. Probably finna go through batteries like butter. Not butter, but some. I don't know, some sort of analogy. We finna go through these batteries like. I don't know. You just finna go through these batteries. Oh my god. said if you want to get out, get out through the kitchen. I'm leaving. Fuck, nigga. Turning on shit.
I'm getting out through the kitchen. This guy said hey, you can get out. Why would I turn it off? He wants it all to burn. Why am I turning on the sprinklers? Make that shit make sense. This guy wanna die, he wanna die. Where's the kitchen? How do I get in? Oh, I guess I just go around. Dang, cause then I'm gonna have him on my ass. Hold on, let me read. Let it burn. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watched a man wait to be to burn to death. The most painful death imaginable, rather than stay in this place. He'd rather be burnt to death. Actually, I'd say the most painful way to die would probably be to get like four BBCs stuck up your butt at the same time. While you begging them to stop, they just they just all surround you, go fast. The more and more you scream, the faster and faster they go. Until like you stop screaming, they slow down. And then they go slow. And you begin to like it a little. And you begin to like it a lot. And they start recording you. Now you you just look like a weirdo. You know, you love that BBC. They going slow, they going nice. So nice and slow. Let me read this. I've seen this say something. There's no shame in psychiatric, psych, psychological proximity stress disorder. Yeah, and then they're going slow. And, and you liking it. They record on it. They, you look like a weirdo. And then they got the biggest, fattest dude with the fattest, biggest BBC. Pull his junk out. Whip it in your face. It smells like, it smells disgusting. You know it's gonna hurt. Yeah, your mind already broken. They, they, they broke your mind. Now you, now you want it. So you over there, looking the looking the tip. They got you on camera, looking another dude. Come on, man. They going slow. They got that big fat boy. Nigga built like this guy. Ah, ah. You over there. Huh. Uh. Ah, he's ah. You like that. You he, he slapping your buns. And you over there. Ah. Uh. Ah, yeah. You like that. In the deepest voice ever. He grabbed both your booty cheeks and spread your booty even farther. Now your butthole's bleeding. He's still going. It's loosened now. So he's going bop, bop, bop. And his, his BBC, his big old thing, talking like 24, 25 inches. Nah, good. Four feet, 48 inches. Boom, boom, boom. That's like more than half of your body. Short ass nigga. He going boom, 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 boom. He going crazy. That junk's touching your heart, your kidneys, your intestines. It's going in. You're like, ah, ah. He grabbing your cheeks and he, he pick you up. He grabbing by both your thighs, pick you up, got you in the upward stance, like all standing. And you, you, your, your back on his belly. He gon' boom, 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 boom. Hey, that's going crazy. He gon', he gon' wild. He gon' wild. And then it grows bigger. His BBC, he goes four feet bigger, eight, eight feet tall. That's taller than your body, short nigga. He gon' boom, boom. That junk, he, he got you standing. Yo, he's holding your entire body weight with his BBC. He ain't even holding you anymore. His his BBC doing all the work. He jumping up and down. Boom, boom. You hopping up and down and like, ah, ah, ah. That junk hits your brain. You rip your whole body in half. Your whole insides in half of this BBC. And then you dead. That's the worst way to die. Yeah. Alright, hold on. That's the worst way to die. Straight up. Hold on, pause on all that though. Pause on all that. Pause on everything I just said. That was the craziest shit, bro.
pause on like, everything I just said. Hold on. I just not realized. I just wasted a whole fucking battery trying to pause. Sorry, I can't. I can't. I just wasted a whole battery. You know these batteries really important. Alright, but like for real, what was I talking about? Dude, that was the craziest shit, bro. Alright, bro, this is kind of sad, like straight up. Because listen, these niggas are like, they're insane, but they have remnants of their past lives. Say, old dude in the in the cafeteria, he remembers his past life partially. So he's like, man, I don't even want to live this way. I had a better life. I, I can't be living like this. So he's killing himself. Other niggas, they, they like living their life. You know, some people was like, you know, murderers. Other niggas was just chilling for other people that like were like normal people. They went completely insane. This guy right here, I'm going to make an assumption straight up. He probably had a pregnant wife waiting for him at home. He got admitted and shit. Stop touching my stuff. He got admitted or something. He was probably a worker, maybe. Nah, I'm going to say, yeah, a worker because he ain't fucked up like the other niggas. He probably a worker, you know. He's just doing his job one day, boom, 
Everybody get it contained. He's a he's a patient now. You know he's getting he going he getting psychological, mental break break breakdowns. Break Niggas is messing with his brain. He's oh my god, my brain it hurts so much. And he's broken, but he still has some remnants of his past life. So basically, he's treating that that grown ass man, that dead man, mutilated like he's a baby. Let me rub your belly. That's a good boy. Be good. Be good. I really hope you feel bad, bro. This is sad as hell. There's some sad stuff, man. It's not even the fact that it's gory. It's just sad, bro. I'm sure, there's some gory parts that are messing with my tummy in. But other than that, it's just sad as hell, bro. I did not see that nigga. I did not see that nigga. Oh my god, he got close. Blood need a shirt though. close that door I was gonna keep gonna be messed up battle like you on point I don't think I can spoke too soon hey Mops Yo, yo, stop biting my wall, bro. I gotta pay for that. No, wait. You're so adorable, man. I can't stay mad at your ugly ass.
You're very bubbly. Go, babe. Burger with no bed. Oh, that's what this nigga did. You literally said the exit was through the cafeteria. Why didn't we just jump? Why? Oh. That pop off. That pop off. Where he punched me and pulled me out. He had me rolling down this hallway, looking like a bear. But I look at that. Uh oh, I don't see him hanging. All right, bro. Hold on, I'm cooking. Let me cook. Let me cook. Hold on. Where you go? Walk out on that road. Scary stuff. All right. Ultra program, CIA, more dude new. Uh, subject, special research, bluebird. Uh, I general problem for the last past several months. Bluebird has been endeavoring to ascertain by research study instructions. Can we post age? Can we guarantee total amnesia under any all conditions? Can we alter a person's personality? How long will it hold? What are the full details on this study? What? Just take a melatonin, nigga. Force feeding melatonin. Yeah. So I do. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. That nigga scared me. Alright, you know what? I need a doo doo, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Yo, me and my rapper were sharing the ice cream. This nigga is so cute, bro. Anyways. That is not Father Martin. This door needs a key. Oh. Thanks. Let's read this doc. I don't even know your name, but I've come up with, to think of you as my blood, my paw. I hope you don't mind. 
I hope you don't indulge. Whoa, don't eat my controller. I hope you don't indulge the vanity of self-pity, the fear that your suffering is more than others. We all must endure this. You're nearly done. There's nobody to have him but by the cross. And every man needs another to help drive the nails in. I'm here for you. I'm waiting. Oh, so like, this nigga thinks I'm his like, apostle? Now oh, Jesus, he has his apostles. Call me his Paul, so I'm guessing I'm. I don't know. I don't know which one Paul was. How alive are you? Okay. I gotta put my junk in my lap because you you think everything with my scent on it is food. You even think I'm food. Stop. Or you just love me or whatever. Stop licking me. I ain't... You got this whole room, bro. Whole room. Listen, this is cute, but like, dude, I'm trying to play the game. So maybe like later? Not either. That scared the balls off a nigga. I turn around and just see a figure standing there. Man, I thought that was old dude. I just embraced my fate. I was just like, well darn. Finally something. You gotta leave a nigga alone, bruh. Alright, so we gonna run. We gonna run. Alright, we gonna turn this junk on and we gonna run. Alright, all we gotta do is just run forward. Once you find the mount fountain, we go east. From my position, I'm in west. You just gotta run forward, go towards the fountain, go east. Alright, we run.
that, bro? That's skill. That's skill you you have to buy. I I use my muscle memory. I was on my bloodhound recon. Apex Legends, nigga. I'm going back inside. I think I've seen the wall rider. I can't even touch, bruh. That's why I wasn't afraid of everything else. I knew, like, everything else was gonna just, like, stab me or do a little short animation. This thing is a freaking ghost. This thing gonna haunt me. That's why I hate ghosts. Them niggas haunt you. They don't try to run your fade or nothing. that scared me was the thank you my god man you can finally see all right but the main thing that scared me was the fact that all i saw was it like it was all dark next thing i know i just see a face i thought it was like a different kind of monster not the wall rider Wall rider ain't gonna show himself now. You gotta uh, light. Um, to the wall rider, I said, run my junk now. See, no, 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 no. I don't want to come across this nigga anymore. I'm scared the balls off the nigga. Chair or something. Acting like I can't move that jump. Just grab your white skinny ass. You so adorable. Why are you so cold? Because the ice cream. Food regulates your temperature. Go drink. Damn, I gotta go feed this nigga. Hold on. Hey. Man. This nigga is so funny, bro. I know that water cold. I know you feel the breeze. You stop. So can I, bro. This is very open.
up. Somebody pop off. Save. So scared. I'm very scared right now. I'm not. To the female section, I already know some crazy shit finna happen, bro. Horror movie, females, horror game, females. Niggas was down bad <coughs> body. You about to see some crazy junk. Already know. I'm calling it. They're gonna be necromaniacs. They're gonna be. Never mind. They all dead. Oh, these ain't females. These are niggas. Do not drink the water. So much blood in the water, I can smell it like putting a penny in my mouth, in your mouth. When you were a kid, the whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. What? This nigga's going crazy. Oh, this is crazy. This is so cool, bro. It's like... Yeah, but look. Like, this guy? He's going through so much right now. He's going... He's like... In the beginning, he's like, Oh my gosh, it's all crazy. All crazy stuff. Why do these niggas so weird? So weird. Weird. All these guys are weird. And at the end, he's like... Whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. Exactly what one dude at the beginning was saying, talking about it's like an itch. Alright, but why are we not trying to escape? That's my question. <laughs> yeah, the original um, plan was to escape, so look. Look, at the beginning, he says... Dude, you can literally come... Look. Hey, 
He's so stupid. Trying to jump out on the, off the top. Weirdo. Just walking through the front. need a battery. What's that nigga? I was expecting a chick, not another nigga. Come on, bud. Nothing to it, just to do it. My mindset for real. So we gonna go in there, fade whoever's there, and we gonna leave. Let me back up. Let me back up. Miles, can you come here? I'm scared. Fuck you, nigga. Hold on, where's my... Brief introduction to Wall Rider mythology for MRD support staff, the Murkoff Corp. Note, this is support notational purposes only. Engage in no directional contact with patients during your active therapy. The Wall Rider, also known as Alp or Mara or Scrap, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. They crouch on the sleeper's chest and crutch the breath from them. The sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and exacerbated. The Mara gives us the word nightmare. Sexual assaults by the demon are rare, but it has been known to drink milk from the breast of sleeping women and the blood from the nipples of sleeping men. My question is, why is that relevant to anything? You're like, I, so like, it's a demonic creature, right? But it can't sexually assault people. Like, dude. And then 
and it sucks the nipples of humans. That's my thing. Why the nipples? Breasts from woman and nipples from man. How long has it been? How long has it been? Project Paperclip Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency Document A, the Nazis War Crimes Disclosure Act. The first paperclip provides the means to obtaining services of foreign specialists. Yeah, I was about to talk my junk. I gotta go all the way back here. Alright, at least I got my jump. Alright. Back trees. This game has been non-stop, like, freaking violence. Alright, this should. There's about to be some crazy parts coming up. This is probably going to be the worst part. My censor, all this drama that's been finna happen. Shit, I ain't even gonna censor. I'm lying. That nigga tweaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you just open these doors for a dude. Some lines this game won't cross. Thank you. Is this nigga? Nah, that weirdo.
Come on, bro. Yeah, I gotta do all that over again. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I'll see y'all in the next video.